Hi, I'm Piers Jackson. I'm the game director on Realms of Ruin. We're here to talk to you today a little bit about everything that's happened to the game since the technical beta way back in July. Um, but I just want to start by thanking everyone for their really constructive feedback. First thing we're going to talk about is UI. I brute off with a boss on the back. Lovely. A consistent piece of feedback that we had um, related to the scale of the UI, people felt that it might be slightly too big or intrusive. So one of the things I can now confirm is that we allow people to scale the UI. That's both globally and individual elements. So you can really set it up to be whatever size you want, and that'll be for all players. We've spent a lot of time um, really streamlining the, the interface to, to try and reduce the, the impact of having to, to click on menus. So now you can click on objects to bring up interfaces, you can click to close, you can click anywhere off the interface and it will immediately shut it down. On top of this, we allow you to actually move the game camera with the interfaces open. So now you can strategize with menus at the same time as viewing what's going on anywhere in the game world. A specific example of this is, is how we now allow you to build bastions. So um, we allow you to select um, diegetically in the world by clicking on a conduit. That immediately brings up the, the bastion creation menu and then you can select the bastion of your choice from there. One of the uh, consistent pieces of feedback we had from within the technical beta was that people were struggling with um, understanding how to increase the population cap of their army. It was possible to do in the beta, but it was not clear how to do it. Um, so we have spent quite a bit of time in the UI really, really calling this out. And in, in general, um, improving everything to do with the tech tree, uh, its readability, uh, understandability, and, and how you interact with it. One bug that actually slipped through our nets when um, when creating the, the beta uh, was the ability with mouse and keyboard to actually click in the minimap. We did have that as a feature, and it broke somewhere. Um, that will now be uh, reintegrated into the game. So you'll be able to click on the minimap and teleport to that location. On top of this, you can also select a unit and then right click in the minimap and that unit will be sent to that location, allowing you to, you know, really move units over long range very quickly. Where should we stick them? Where's the that over there? We had a lot of feedback, really good feedback on, on our keyboard control setup. Uh, so we're now moving our default keyboard arrangement to be on W, A, S, and D. Of course, you can customize this however you want and, and rearrange the buttons, but that's, that's how the game will be set up by default. So let's talk a little bit about abilities and actions. We've made a few changes in there. One of them is that where we have abilities that can be triggered with a single key press, we're now doing that. Um, some require a second, particularly when you're targeting, but all of the others will be on a single key press. So we're really streamlining the number of presses you have to make to get these things to happen. We also got a lot of great feedback on retreat. Um, so whilst you can still retreat in combat, we're now allowing you to retreat from anywhere in the map. It, of course, will cost you command points. You can't do it for free, but it'll pull your units quickly all the way back to your command post where they can heal. We did also have some issues during the beta with um, being able to break out of animation cycles. And in some cases, uh, units were moving into locations before they would take uh, new orders. Both of these were causing a bit of a slowdown in the game, uh, and the, the team has spent a lot of time ironing those out so the game will feel much more responsive now. When playing on PC, we noticed uh, there were some issues with people triggering abilities and the camera snapping back to the unit. Very easy fix, and one I can confirm is now in the game. Obviously, the, the beta was very early in our development life cycle, so not all of the game's features were, were present. One thing that we didn't have in at that point was the ability to change the bastions once you'd placed them down. That is now in the game, so you can strategically change your game as you're going along, place a bastion. If you want to remove it, you can destroy it and put another one in its place. So our lead designer, Sandy, likes to remind me on a regular basis the game was not fully balanced or even very balanced at the point that we did the beta. But thank you for everyone for playing. Uh, the feedback we got there and all of the data, the vast reams of data that we collected have been really, really useful in, in us allow, allowing us to tune the game um, and really make it significantly better than it was. We also noticed that um, people were struggling to understand exactly how bastions worked or what they were meant to do. So we've taken all that feedback on board. The UI team have 
really gone to town on making sure all of those features and facilities are, are properly called out in the UI, so that should now be fully explained. As many people who played the beta noticed, some of the audio scape in the game was a little bit thin. Um, it was early in development. The audio team have been working tirelessly since then to, to really, really flesh out all of the combat sounds to, to give that impactful feeling when you're in, in combat, um, to, to give a sense of scale to it. Get him! There are no escape! We also didn't have a fully functional music system at that point. Um, again, I will tell you right now, this will be in place for launch. The music, we have the most incredible music score and it will peak and trough um, as the game is being played based on the activity. So you'll get those real high notes and high score at the point that the most impactful combat is occurring. Oh, he's gonna be so proud of you. That's just a summary of the features that we've updated since the beta. Um, we have much more to show and the game has come on leaps and bounds since that point. I just wanna finish by saying a really big thank you to everyone that engaged in the beta and all of the amazing feedback you gave us. We've taken it all on board and we look forward to seeing you playing the game on November the 17th.